Morning, everyone. I can see um, quite a few of you coming through here. Jen, I'm looking forward to um, showing you how to uh, perm with the curl formers. There's quite a few of you coming in, so we'll just wait, wait a minute, let a few more of you join us here today. Morning, Loretta. Morning, Mary. Andrea, there's quite a few of you coming in. It's exciting. We always get a bit panicky at this point, whether anyone's going to join us or not. Um, well, it's gone 11, uh, so I will get started because there's uh, quite a lot to get through today. Um, for those of you that don't meet, know me, uh, my name's Kareen Jackson, and I run the Sustainable Hair and Beauty Salon in the West End of London. Um, and I'm sure all you business owners out there, um, you're panicking a little bit like me, making sure that we've got everything in place for the fourth, but at the same time, so excited to get back to work and to get back into a routine. So um, good luck to you all out there. Um, I hope it goes really smoothly for you. I know that I've spent half the night in the morning trying to get all the clients in on our appointment slot, so we're nearly there. So um, I've been hairdressing for 35 years now. Uh, so I started hairdressing back um, in the 80s when perming was huge. Um, and over the last five years, we've built up a huge um, perming uh, you know, business within our salon. Um, and one of the, the, the companies that we've worked so closely with is um, Hair Flare Pro using the curl formers. And they have been absolutely amazing because it's just reduced the time of perming. It's fun, it's more modern. And um, yeah, we just really enjoy using it. Hi, Robert, I haven't seen you for a while. Um, I'm gonna stop looking at the messages coming in now and I'm gonna flick over to the slides. Um, so bear with me with technology. Here we go. We'll start the presentation um, for today. Start. There we go. That always helps. Um, so perming with curl formers education. It is um, great fun, really easy. And I think a lot of people are a bit nervous about um, perming. You know, there's a lot of um, stigma behind it and i think it's up to us now the, to, to change that but what you will find is the younger generation don't have that stigma of the 80s and they're excited about having their hair permed and during lockdown i have had i, I can't tell you untold amount of people requesting consultations so we had to pivot with that slightly and um we're working out well we've, we're finalizing it tomorrow actually um it how to do zoom uh consultations and how because we like to do a stretch test and a strand test and everything prior so i think you know it's been really challenging times for all of us but this is an opportunity to grow your business in a different way and exciting as well so um i want to thank hair flare pro and alan howard for inviting me along to do this presentation um today so curl formers what are they all about well, they're a great invention you've got this hook here and you have um the former on there, the curl, curl former on there that you can put into the hair. So um, for me, we start right at the beginning. And as I just mentioned, it's all about the consultation. Um, clients come in with pictures that aren't realistic. They aren't about, um, you know, they're, they're set, they're set under lights. They've had some hairdresser and makeup and everything fiddled with um, to get a great image. So we try and take pictures um, of realistic uh, perms and um, curl formed uh, perms in our salon. And we put them all up on our Instagram so that the client's um, expectations are measured from the beginning. Um, we tell them straight off that, you know, we, what we can and can't achieve. And um, this comes out in the consultation because we all know a client will say, one thing and uh, mean something completely different. What we have found is working with curl formers, uh, it's been really easy, you know, it's it's a soft perm and that's what they want. Um, it's, a, you know, what we call a modern modern curl. So, um, and we work, we work with different sizes um, of the rollers and I'm gonna go through that. I'm gonna talk to you about how important neutralizing is and the post perm consultation is vital. Um, we've all seen that scene from Legally Blonde where she goes home and washes her hair. And, um, you know, we, we 
we, we just look at it thinking, yes, we know you've done that. So um, I'll talk a little bit when we get to that about what we do in the post-perm consultation and then the follow-up appointment and aftercare. Okay, so working with curl formers, the first thing you need to do is choose your um, uh, former size. So um, here we've got a barrel, and I actually think I used the other uh, one. So we've also got our corkscrew, which is really popular at the moment. And we have our spiral, and they come in different lengths here as well. And of course, the barrel one there. Um, and these give different results. You know, the beach wave, um, that's just a soft, gentle, you know, uh, when your client wants to just wake up in the morning and add a little bit of water to their hair and just make it sit sit nice. You'll give it a little bit of volume. Um, the barrel curl, uh, it's a little bit firmer. Um, it lasts a little bit longer. So I think it's it's a nice um, introduction into, into curling your hair. The spiral, one of my favorites, um, but that stems back from the 80s. And that just gives it a really good, cork, um, you know, spiral rounded perm. And then the corkscrew for that client that wants the ultimate curly hair. And uh, again, we're doing a lot more of those. We, we started out five years ago using the beach wave and the, uh, the barrel curl. And more and more lately, we're, we're going in for the spiral and the corkscrew and loading the hair up with them so we get a really amazing curl. Um, so uh, there's different technique techniques, and I'm going to show you um, a few right now. But um, the ones that we work with uh, with the curl formers is the full head to root, which I've shown you um, in here. You just take it in, and I'll, I'll do a little demonstration. Hopefully that will go well in a minute. Um, my, poor, my poor doll's head here is a proper workout during um, lockdown, so she's, uh, her hair's not happy now. Um, and then we have off the base. Uh, for those of you in the 80s, that would be like your drop wind perm. So you keep um, the top bit uh, straight and you just uh, start curling out from around the crest line in your hair. And then on the, um, on the ends on long hair, you just put it in halfway through. Because the um, base of this is quite soft, it doesn't damage the hair and it's easy to place it in through the hair wherever, you know, wherever you want to place your roller to get the result that you want. And then of course, um, the men's perm, the merm. And we've got these fantastic little ones. Although we are getting a lot more women uh, with shorter hair and they're coming in and having the same sort of curl where you get that, that great shape at the front. Um, so yeah. I'll show you how we actually uh, place these in, so you can see. Um, so just have the hair wet. And also, I know we're doing a perming um, talk today, and I am going to be running a, um, a perming course with curl formers. Uh, I think we're looking at November, um, but we'll see how it all goes with uh, uh, post-lockdown. So what I do is I just do a little twist in there, Put it in and you have your hook up ways. I think a lot of um, people that use them come back and say, oh, can't use it. They're trying to do it that way. But you have your hook up ways and you just lock it in and pull it through. And it's that simple. And the great thing uh, with the rolls, you can see here, this one's, hopefully you can see that, got a stripe. I'll show you on this one here. Got a little stripe, little stripe in there. And I just realized I didn't put myself on big screen. Um, to show you that one. So we'll do another one here. Good job I got two. Um, so again, just take your section. Nice and soft, that's great. There's no rigid lines. You can just take a nice soft um, section. And we tend to, we tend to, when we're in the salon, we'll either um, go big, big sections for clients that just want a first time, they're a little bit nervous. We'll just roll that in. Or if they want a lot of curl, and I know Carolyn, he's listening, I like to pack them in, I like to get lots and lots of curl. You can just see how easy that is to put um, the curl former in. You can see I just squeeze it gently there um, to release it or to even put it in and then just let it close. And um, for those of you who've got these in the salon, you'll see how easy that is. Um, for anyone that doesn't have them, uh, Alan Howard has got them in their, their stores, so I highly recommend uh, going and getting some. Um, they're good fun and um, really, really easy to use. So I'm going to go back to the presentation here. Hopefully I'm doing well with technology here. Um, so perming with curl formers. Uh, 
Firstly, whatever manufacturer you're using, make sure you read their instructions um, and follow um, their recommendation for um, hair type, hair condition, and um, their process through, through whether you put heat or no heat. Um, so as I just explained in this section here, um, wash your hair, comb it through, make sure it's all nice and neat, and work with your zigzag section. So you can see all through here, it's all zigzag through. This just gives a softer line on the hair and you don't get that heavy um, you know, divide through the hair, which uh, uh, traditional perming used to do, used to get that. Um, you know, a really heavy line and take a week or so for it to um, move back into position. So um, you apply the rest of the curl formers through the hair. Now, something that I think is great is identifying how your client wants the front. So the ones with the stripes, you can, um, ones to the left and ones to the right, so you can go back or you can come onto the face. Um, when we're doing fringes, what I tend to do is alternate, so you've got a, a different shapes of curl going different ways. You don't want it to look too set. You want it to be quite natural and flowy, and that's what the curl formers are really good at doing. So um, then there's one of the questions that I get all the time coming to how do you test the curl? Do not panic about this. Um, what we do is we slide it out. So like I just showed you before, hopefully you can see that. You just squeeze the top, slide it out, check it, and then just re reapply it back in, just pop, pop it back in there. It will not affect the curl because you haven't put the neutralizer on, you haven't rinsed yet. You just need to check if the ribboning's happening and you can do that and then you can just slide it back in again. Um, it's generally quite easy and we've never ever had a problem with it. So I get asked that question a lot. So if anyone was worried about that, that's it's absolutely fine. Um, one of the great things about curl formers, no end papers. So we're saving on, um, the damage to the environment, which is really important to me. Um, all curlers at the moment um, contain plastic, but that's okay, as long as we're um, rinsing them and reusing them again and again and again. And I think, you know, eliminating the um, permens is um, just one step closer to eliminating waste and single-use waste out there. Um, so when it comes to rinsing, approximately 10 minutes, I'm a little bit of a stickler at this area because I think if you can smell perm lotion, then keep rinsing. You're better off to over rinse with really, really warm water, as warm as that the client can tolerate, and make sure that the smell is gone. Once you know the smell's gone, it's it's good to proceed. So we blot dry with a towel, but then we use a hair dryer because again, I think when the S bonds are in this shape, if you can get the heat in there, it holds it a little bit better, and we get a better result from start to finish. So. And then um, take that out, rinse and condition, and away we go. So um, at the end, I'm going to have um, room for lots of questions for you there. Oh, sorry, I've run ahead of myself here. I always do this, so um, I go off on my little little tangents. But you can just see there where um, we're doing the test curl, and um, you can just see how it comes out, and just you get that great soft shape. And the men's perming. I have to tell you a little story about this. I've been in the salon um, the last few weeks painting and it gets a little bit lonely and just getting ready for reopening and working out the logistics of all. And um, we have this amazing client. Um, he uh, dances for the Royal Ballet. He's um, in the, in the uh, company there. And he walks past, absolutely gorgeous, fit body. And he's like, Kareen, Kareen. I turned around and I didn't recognize him at first. I was like, Oh my God, who's this saying hello to me? Anyway, the first thing he said, when can I book in for my perm? Um, and it was delightful. I then clicked who it was and asked how he was doing. But, you know, do not um, be, you know, gender specific. I think men have just as much right to get their hair perm to their hair. It's brilliant um, when it comes out. And I've got a couple of um, looks in here as well, but we are absolutely cleaning up on this. And you can see these rollers, it's just so rollers. Sorry, Carolyn, she kill me. I can hear her screaming in the background. Um, the curl formers are just absolutely brilliant. Um, they're quick, they're easy. They don't look like they're sitting with set hair. Um, the guys feel comfortable and, and women feel comfortable as well. So um, never never underestimate the power of, of what our um, next generation or even our older generation want to uh, you know, want to do with their hair. Oh, sorry, next slide. 
Um, so this is Ria. Um, she was presenting some looks, so I thought I'd give her a little plug in there. Ria was on the Fame team. Oh, I think it's about three years, four years even um, now. And um, that's one thing about um, Hair Flare Pro and Curlformers. They're so active within our industry, doing things with Alan Howard, um, working with the club star, working with Fame Team and the Fellowship for British Hairdressing. Um, they're just, you know, they're there for us, for the hairdresser. And I think that for me with brands that I work with, that's really key. And um, the training you get is fantastic. Um, we were also at Pro Hair Live, which I'm going to show a couple of pictures of that in a minute, running ahead of myself again, um, demonstrating live on stage. But this was just some of the looks that Ria come up with. You can just see how soft and um, beautiful the curl is there. And on to our next side. So um, this is Sophia. She's uh, my, C my, my art team manager, actually, and hopefully she's out there watching today. And her fabulous model, um, Christelle. And we did a live perm at Pro Hair um, Live this year, uh, which went down like a huge treat. Um, Crystal's hair looks fantastic. Uh, she's actually, because this was the last event we did before lockdown, she's actually hassling us to get it done again as soon as we open. Um, so you can just see how, how easy and how how great she looks on the on the slide here um, and the result um, she's got amazing hair really thick so you can see we didn't have to put too many rollers in and um, she's been rocking that um, during lockdown we've also um, did a club star um, art team shoot last year and that was just a fantastic day club star art team just never ceased to amaze me and I, I get really excited about young people coming up through and really wanting to learn their craft and uh, curl formers or hair flare pro are right beside us i'm um, helping i um, have to give a little shout out to luke here he's my um uh, my girlfriend's son and um yeah he's absolutely loving it he's actually been uh, uh, curl forming his hair for a few years so agreed to come in and um, be a model for us so you can just see some different looks that you get from the curl formers um and how easy they are um to produce so moving on to our next bit. So um, aftercare, I think this is really important and I think this is an area that we um, tend to forget about. Uh, you know, they send the client out and um, they don't give them the advice. So going back to the beginning um, when I was introducing, we do a, a pre-perm consultation. Um, we actually take a strand test and we uh, perm it or we curl form it to um, just see how it's going to react. I know this is a little bit more time consuming, but we really need to manage our clients' expectations. Um, and so that's why we test the hair, we get all the information because they come in and they say they've got um, been using like Pantan or Head and Shoulders. This leaves a barrier on the hair. It affects the curl. Um, if they've been taking heavy antibiotics or they've had an aesthetic recently, I think this again is something that you really need to think about. Um, and so we, we get as much information. I think that is key. And if anyone wants um, to see how we do do the consultation, just uh, message me. Actually, leave it a couple of weeks before you message me because I know um, we're dealing with hundreds of emails at the moment trying to get all our clients booked in. But I will get back to you if you message me or even message um, Hair Flare Pro. And uh, I know Carolyn's got a copy of our um, consultation and she'll be able to send that over to you. Um, so you can see here, these are three um, clients that we've actually had uh, in the salon. And I wanted to show these are the, the actual results after the um, curl forming perm that we've done. Um, so you can just see the beautiful, we've done a, a, a corkscrew here and a spiral on there. And then we've done a corkscrew on our um, gent at the front there. Um, actually, he was really getting into having his picture taken um, during this. Uh, so we advise our clients in um, the post uh, curl formers um, perm, the modern perm, um, that they need to come back in about six to eight weeks uh, to have the ends trim. And something I explain to them and they get it, it lifts the curl, bounces the curl back up, because your hair gets a little bit heavy. We can see how it's um, growing out and how long before you'll probably need uh, another perm. And we trim off the ends and, and one of the tips um, that I always say, oh, you know, I don't normally get my hair done that regularly. You've had a chemical service. So it's really important to make sure that you um, look after your hair. It's like a piece of fabric. 
So um, if you don't trim the piece of fabric, it just keeps fraying. And that's what will happen if we don't, you know, bounce up your curl. The other thing is, you know, um, 48 hours before they wash their hair. Um, this is key to get this in. And we actually get them to sign that they understand these steps before they leave, because this is where it will all go wrong. And it's going back to that legally blonde um situation where where she'd brushed her hair and you know we could all see it and i think the other the other great series was fleabag that um i don't know if anyone watched that where you um where she held up the picture and it was exactly the same and i think right now coming out post lockdown um we're in a great position to um really demonstrate how professional and skilled we are at our craft and i think it's time for us to stand up and shine with that um, the whole world has been talking about their hair since lockdown. And, um, you know, even last night there was something on ITV, uh, you know, just about the clients, you know, and, and their need to get it done. And I think we've undervalued ourselves as um, stylists and colorists and um, technicians. And now we can actually say, no, I'm worth this and um, book your appointments accordingly and charge the right amount of money. So many hairdressers, um, get worried about what they're charging. And I think we need to remember the value of what we're doing. And when we give our clients all the correct information, then we're able to um, provide the best service and we're able to charge for it. And I think, you know, be confident when you're doing that. And it's the same when, when we're um, curl forming. We, we start everything from the beginning. We give the client the information. We give them a realistic idea of what the curl is gonna look like. By doing the, the strand test, um, they can see, you know, they can see the shape of the curl and they can make an informed decision themselves if they want to go ahead um, with the uh, perm. Up until um, lockdown, we, we did the consultation free. Unfortunately, post lockdown, we're not going to be able to do that. Um, and one of the things when we had our um, meeting the other day with the team is um, weeding out the time wasters, people that just go for consultations and don't. Don't, they're, not, they're not really interested. They just want to see what you've got to say about it. So um, we're now charging um, accordingly for the 15-minute um, consultation. And if they do book in, then that money will come off their um, service when they come in. And I think that's a fairer way to do it because we were finding we do up to 30 consultations a week. And um, the way we run our business now, we're not going to be able to accommodate that. And it's all going to be done via Zoom. So... Um, I think that's something really important to get get in. And now's the time that we can we can change. You know, we can make these decisions to work better and create a happier environment um, within our salons. So, um, yeah, go through there. So um, I went through this uh, quite quickly, but I wanted to because there's quite a lot of you on there asking questions and. Um, I think I'd like to answer a few of those questions. So I don't know, Chloe's going to kill me for this. It might, if I'm able to um, actually be thrown a few questions and I can uh, talk you through them all. But I'm going to be doing um, an in-depth uh, session with Hairflare Pro using the curl formers um, really soon. So um, follow us on Instagram or um, Facebook. Um, Hairflare and Alan Howard will be able to let you know exactly when we're doing the seminars and we'll be doing it step by step from start to finish and hopefully we'll be able to do it um face to face uh when we're doing it so i'm going to just have a look at some of your questions um the barrel is the biggest size yes the barrel curl um is actually our um uh, there we go is the largest one um and then you can take bigger sections as well. So, you know, if you want the, the barrel curl to be a little tighter, take a smaller section. If you want it to be uh, bigger, then you can take a, a larger section. Um, the corkscrew, they come in um, these fantastic little bags here. Um, so the, the spiral, it's one of my favorites at the moment. So we can just do that. And what you do, just click the end, pop it through. And you're ready to go. And what we tend to do is we line them all up um, with with our uh, tray, and away we go. So um, I'm just seeing the question here from Ashley. With so many clients having pre-lightened hair, yes, we draw that all out um, after the uh, after the consultation, and we show them in the test strand because some people are really determined to have their hair um, 
uh, curl formed. And what we do is we actually do a strand test and we show them just whether it's going to work or not. And then we put them on a um, four week program um, to actually rebuild the structure of their hair. Uh, the company we use is Organic Color System, so it has a revamp product that over four weeks in time will really build the strength um, of the hair and we can um, help it grow through. So um, so um, I've just seen um, Jen's question there, how do you keep it fixed? Jen, it's really easy and I'm gonna, I'll do another quick uh, demonstration for you there. So you can see you just squeeze um, the roller here. Uh, I'm just going to take you off slide. You'll be able to see that a little bit uh, better. There you go. So um, if you squeeze it just like that, it's not actually hard. It's not damaging. And I wish I could show you, but it's a very soft base there. Um, and when you put that in, you take a section. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And I, do, I just put a little twist to give it a little firmness there. Squeeze that in so you can see the little lock there. Sorry. Slide your roller down and then aim it where you want it to go in. And then it just holds there, it just claps on. It's not heavy or tight, but you can see that that's in there. It's not going to come out. Um, and that's just how you drop it through. And then you can just put your lotion in through here as well, which is which is great. You're not having to put any lotion up on the root area. Um, and then if you want to go a little bit further down, I'm going to risk putting a um, corkscrew in. Um, my poor doll's head is, if you could feel this, you would be laughing and crying at the state of it. So just run, take our section. Another thing, if you want to get really, really um, curly cork, excuse me, you can twist it a little bit, just like that. Hook that in, and away you go. And then you can just pull it through. And then to release it, absolutely simple. Just push, push it there, you can see that opening, and then you just slide it out. I say that, but it's all caught. There we go. And you just slide that out, and you've got your curls sitting there. So, um, see if we've got a few more questions coming up through here. I think um, if there's anything anyone would like me to actually touch on a little bit more, we can do that for you. Um, hopefully, that answered uh, some of the questions. Yes, I never actually, I want to answer. Um, Ashley's, was it Ashley's that's just said it? Um, oh, Jen again. Um, when we don't perm with the lotion on the hair, it's in the hair for too long, it's damaging and drying on the hair. And I think with the modern, modern perms, I think it's important to make sure that the hair condition is absolutely paramount. So we actually um, put the solution on after we've put all the curl formers in the hair. And you just need to go, um, from the base and you just drop it through all the way through like so and then um because i'm doing this from home i don't actually have all the kit here but um there's a great hood that you can put on to just keep the heat in add a little bit of extra heat but do that um in accordance with the um products that you're you're using so um we can do that there so i've just seen kelly um Kelly's little question there. Congratulations on qualifying for your level two. I've just had uh, one of my apprentices qualify. She's now going for a level three, um, starting back today, which is exciting. So good luck to all you um, young apprentices out there that are starting back at um, college. Um, I think it depends on uh, what result you want. You know, some clients want the traditional um, rollers put in, hair, <clears throat> in the hair, excuse me. But these days we tend to be using more and more of the curl formers because they're quick, they're easy, and they look better. Um, and you know, we all know sitting in a salon for three hours, you, you don't want to sit there looking all um, like you know, tight rollers to your head and things like that. So, um, but again, it's down to cli uh, your client's preferences with that as well. So, um, yeah, so I think I've pretty much completed uh, all the tips on there. 
like I said in the beginning, uh, we're going to be doing an in-depth where I go step by step through everything. This was a little teaser, a little taster on um, what we're doing in the salon and what you could be doing in the salon as well. And I think you know everything comes down to in the in the salon for the for the business owners um, your profit margin and working with Coloformers. Um, to get your pricing right, we, we work on the hour and then we charge for the lotion on top of that. Um, you know, we went from 2005, I think it was, doing six or seven perms a year, and we currently do over 100 now, making over 72,000 a year on um, perming alone. So I think if you're not doing it in your business, um, you're really missing out on a trick here because there is a huge trend um, with our, our you know next generation, the millennials, they're all loving the wavy hair. We're all wearing our hair wavy as well. Um, and not to forget, if they want to just come in and have a set uh, with the curl formers, we do quite a lot of those as well. And we um, also do them when we're doing shows because you can whack the um, curl formers in, you can leave them to dry, <clears throat> get on with the makeup, get them dressed, and then you can take it out and you've got an amazing result. And we've been working with them at Pro Hair Live and Talon International for the last few years. So um, hopefully we'll be back to doing that again in 2021. Um, so I'm gonna round it off here. Uh, if anyone has any questions, I will be here for a few minutes. So please um, pop, pop them over and I'll be listening to what we're doing. And Carolyn uh, will also be in the background uh, answering all your questions as well and um, I hope to see you um, on our hair flare education events coming up and um, stay yeah stay posted oh hang on I've just seen Louise um, is that there I use orange perm roll as normally for my younger kids to have a top perm oh um, the corkscrew which I actually don't have any here at the moment but we do they do do the corkscrew ones in this size they're about about this length um, they're brilliant and uh, they love sitting there with those in there a little bit, you know, a little bit more fun than um, the, the traditional ones. So if you do want to stock up, don't forget, you just go to the Alan Howard website and they've got them fully in stock there for you. And I just want to say good luck, everyone, with the reopening of your salons and good luck to everyone going back to work. Stay safe, look after yourselves, and um, hopefully I'll see you all on one of our seminars. Thank you very much. <laughs>